I feel most free on the track. It's hard to describe, it's almost like poetry. I'm at complete aggression, but at complete peace at the same time, and I'm running down the track. It's like almost I'm outside of my body and I'm just flying past my competition. It kind of takes me back to when I was a kid and, and I used to race my big brother. He was, he was always really athletic and I looked up to him. Um, we used to race in the streets um, of our old neighborhood and I, and I started beating him when I was getting a little older and then he used to get upset about it, but I eventually started beating him and I was the fastest kid in the neighborhood. Thinking back on the 2008 Olympics, um, that, that was a great honor. It truly was. At the time, I didn't really recognize it because I was, always, I was all over the world. I was traveling and I was running. That's a moment I'll never forget. Um, I'll always remember. And it was a beautiful moment. But now I'm looking forward to you know, a new experience in my life, hence why I joined the Navy. To represent your country in any magnitude, I believe, is a blessing. To be able to give back to your country through your service is a blessing for any man. I'm YNS and Rodney Martin and I'm currently pursuing the Navy's world-class athlete program with hopes to one day represent the Navy in track and field. I've raced Usain Bolt countless times, Tyson Gay, some of the greatest athletes that this country has ever seen, but the time I spent in boot camp and in A school and the instructors I met and the students I met, words can't describe the impact that they had on my life. They're amazing people. I kind of grew up hard as a kid, kind of like in public housing what people would call the projects, but I wouldn't call it that because it was houses. I remember people say it takes a community to raise a child, and that's true, even if you're in a bad one. I can honestly truly say that track and field saved my life. Um, I'm thinking I'm 30 years old now. I've been running track and field my whole life, but I still felt that I, I, I haven't done enough where I can do more, I can give more. So the ultimate way to give is through service. So that's what led me to wanting to serve my country in the military. What goes through my mind when I put on my Navy uniform um, is it, the, the history behind it. Like the, the people that put that uniform on and literally went out to the fleet to protect our country and didn't come back home. When I think about how the Navy has changed me, I, I would more so say it made me more aware of the sacrifices that the military makes for our country. I'm up close and personal with what it really means to serve this country. And it's more than just a uh, thank you for your service. It's like, without you, what I did in the Olympics wouldn't even be possible. When it's all said and done, I'm a sailor first. And I wear that title with just as much or more pride that I wore the title of an Olympian or a world champion. So if this program don't work out, I'm more than happy to go serve with my fellow shipmates in the fleet. Mama, mama, can't you see? Mama, mama, can't you see? Just what the Navy's done to me. Just what the Navy's done to me.